still Semana Santa, so there's not that many people around. As you guys can see on the street, it's very, very empty. People are at the beach or they went to uh, to their families. It means that uh, I need to find a bus that takes me out to Peru today. And we're gonna, we're gonna go after we go eat. First we're gonna go have breakfast, and then I'm gonna go find a bus, which hopefully takes me all the way into Trujillo, Trujillo, Peru. Or it just take me to the border, and then from there I take another bus to Trujillo. But uh, I don't know how this is gonna work because it's probably gonna be a um, long day. Yeah, it's already 10, so it usually takes 10 hours from the border to Trujillo, which means I'm gonna be there pretty late. I'm probably gonna be there tomorrow. Hi right, guys, so we're having Trujillo. Trujillo is this thing right here, which is, um, what is it? Plantain, cheese, and pork. And then you put some stuff on it, so. It's pretty good, and then we have some balls here. So sorry, we'll show it in a second. I'll show it in a second. And here's the rice ball. Well, it's not a rice ball, but it's like um, the same thing. It's plantain, cheese. No, it's just plantain and pork. And it's green plantain. It's not like the regular plantain. It's green. And they're really filling. I mean, this is gonna be good meal right here. I wasn't able to um, eat the whole thing. So I'm gonna take it to go for the ride. And the place is called Cafe, El Cafe de Tere. And it's very famous here. People know that place. I'm getting ready to go to the bus station and check this out. Helios is gonna ask for a taxi cab for me. Is he taxi? We just find out the address. We live here. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I get to the right address and continue. And there it is. And then searches for the cabs. And I was telling him, like, I, I've seen this in Panama, Colombia, and here. And that's pretty cool because not even Mexico has it. When I was there, Mexico didn't have it. He's on the way. He's, he will be here like in five minutes. And it's really good. I it's, sa it's safe and it's quick, and I think it's really sweet that they have that here in Latin America, especially South America. I'm in the taxi right now, and this is the guy who picked me up. So the way it works is like, they have cell phones or tablets, and they have the application on there. So whenever um, whenever uh, somebody gets a taxi, they get a message, and whoever clicks on it first, they're the ones who have the, so who get the, the pickup. And all these taxis come with like a taxi meter that gives you a receipt too. And they have cameras, and they have like an emergency button somewhere. So if there's a problem, they, you can click on it, and then the cops know where you are, because it has GPS. It's really, it's really cool. And you always get a safe taxi. So I got my receipt for the taxi. It was $4.34. And now I am on the station. I'm looking for a bus now that takes me to the border, or close to the border. So guys, I got really lucky because there's a bus leaving in five minutes. It's not gonna take me to Peru, it's gonna take me to Machala, which is a little closer. I guess, so that bus just left me here on the street. Well, he left all of us on the street. And then, you gotta cross the street and go over there on that side. That's where the buses live to the border. And then from there, I have to take a taxi, cross the border, and then get another bus. Alright guys, so the bus, the second bus didn't leave me at the border. So now I have to walk because they didn't leave me at the border, so it's like six, seven blocks. So there's a custom stop where they're gonna check all the luggage. They even have a jail, that's a jail right there. 